Hi, and welcome to the show. <laughs> this is family friendly. Oh. Hi again, and welcome to 3 Minute John. <laughs> and now the news. Samsung wants to release a foldable phone. Flexible and bendable displays have been around on trade shows for some time now, but they were all prototypes. Samsung, however, wants to launch the first foldable phone next year. When I think about flexible and bendable, I'm not thinking about phones. I'm thinking about jeans. Yeah, flexible and bendable jeans. Weared by women with big booties. I'm a creep. Four years ago, they made a video of a flexible OLED tablet that turns into a phone and apparently can get you laid. If it was only that simple. But that was just a concept. Now, the company's head of mobile, Ko Dong Jing, said they will launch a foldable phone in 2018 if they could overcome some problems. I can guess some of them. They will have to make a huge battery for that extra large screen, and that means it will be a heavy device, so it's not gonna be that portable. Second of all, the durable scratch resistant glass is out, because in order to make it foldable, they will have to use some sort of plastic. And that <laughs> sucks. Just look at the Lenovo Folio concept. It looks like a cheap plastic toy. The idea of having two devices in one is great, but I don't think it's doable in the next year. And another big problem will be the price, because I don't think it's gonna be a foldable. You know, because it's not affordable and it's a foldable phone, it's not a foldable. Oh, and the name is rumored to be Samsung Galaxy X. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's move on. Nokia 3310, the vibrator. Last week we talked about how many alternatives men have when we want to clean the pipes, cuff the carrot, empty the bank account, or come as you are. But apparently women have alternatives too. There are many articles that speak about women who use their old 3310 as a vibrator. Mm. Really, John? How is this tech news? Well, it's a phone involved, right? Yeah, but f off. An Indian website surveyed 100 women and many claimed their old Nokia was the best tool for finding Nemo. Stop it! And let's talk about the Google Pixel 2 that will be announced next week. Can it be used as a vibrator? I don't think so. Well, then it's boring, so f*** off. Back to our news. In 2003, one developer made the software specifically for this type of use, so you won't have to ring your own 3310 while you're playing Snake with it. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Wow, that's funny. You know what else is funny? The Pixel 2 is rumored to have the Snapdragon 835 processor, a bigger battery, and the best camera. Next week. So if you're a lady in search of some vibrating, remember that the 3310 has a battery life of over one month. Hey, honey, where's your old Nokia? It's here, but I need it for this episode. But where's your 3310? I can't seem to find it. Could you call my number and I'll search for it? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Wait. Are you okay? Oh my god, I can't find it. Bad news for Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. China has officially blocked WhatsApp that's owned by Facebook, which is also blocked, adding it to a long list of blocked apps, cutting the internet freedom of 1.4 billion people and making Zuckerberg cry. On top of this, Facebook is under fire from the US Congress for allowing over 3,000 ads posted by Russian agents that influenced last year's US elections and got Trump the presidency. <laughs> I'm laughing about something else. Also, Russia says they will ban Facebook next year if the social network won't comply with their law, which requires the storage of their citizens' personal data on servers that are on Russian soil. Everything has to stay in Mother Russia. Due to all of this, the Facebook stock dropped 4.5% on Monday, which is the lowest in the last 10 months. These are bad times for Mark, but it's hard to feel sorry for him. He's a 33-year-old with a net worth of $71.5 billion that runs the company which might be responsible for Trump getting elected. Calm down. You and Kim are the same, Donald. I... We had nothing to do with it. I know he called you senile, but you called him rocket man. And you are a little bit senile, let's face it. How is Ivanka? 
This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. Share it with your friends. I'm John. Until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. Honey, did you see my old Nokia? Uh, no. How about yours? I think they're lost. You should call the numbers. <laughs>